Dementia is a leading cause of death in Australia. It's estimated that there are more than 420,000 Australians living with dementia and more than 1.6 million people are involved in their care. Its impact is significant and the number of people affected is expected to increase as our population ages. But dementia does not have to be part of aging. In our research at Griffith University, we're working on ways to help diagnose dementia earlier so that effective interventions can be started sooner and its progression can be slowed. We're also learning more about the link between infection and dementia, which may help to prevent it in the future. What is dementia? Dementia is not a single disease. It is a broad term to describe the slow, progressive decline in brain function that causes cognitive impairment. This includes things like memory loss and behavioural changes. There are many types of dementia, and everyone who has it experiences it differently. Alzheimer's disease is the most common type of dementia. Other types include vascular dementia, which can be the result of a stroke, frontotemporal dementia, and Lewy body disease. Parkinson's disease can also cause dementia. Dementia can occur at any age, but is most commonly diagnosed in people over 65. Childhood dementia is often caused by underlying genetic conditions. In adults, early onset dementia also has a strong genetic link. In contrast, in people over 65 years, there is a range of risk factors that may contribute to onset of dementia. However, in older people, it is likely that symptoms other than cognitive impairment appear much earlier. There is growing awareness that the cause of dementia may start many years or even decades before symptoms of cognitive impairment are detected. How is dementia diagnosed? There is no one definitive test for dementia. Diagnosis takes time and is based on information from a number of assessments. Dementia-like symptoms can also result from other causes such as tumour, stroke, infection or medications. So doctors need to rule these out before they can make a diagnosis of dementia. The first step is typically a cognitive impairment test. This is a standard test that a GP can give. The questions aren't complicated and the test can be given over a period to help track progression of cognitive changes. After that, doctors may consider imaging to detect changes in the brain. With Alzheimer's disease, PET scans may show the formation of plaques in the brain. These are caused by a buildup of beta amyloid peptide. At Griffith University, we're investigating how the sense of smell can be used as an early detection for Alzheimer's disease. As most people with this disease lose their sense of smell, Indeed, some people have reported that they lost their sense of smell up to 20 years before their diagnosis of dementia. If this is true of the wider population, then it may be an easy way to provide early warning. Along with a smell test and a nasal swab, we're looking for gene and protein changes and an indication that you have or had an infection that caused an inflammatory state. Together, these tests may be a very early indication of changes that may lead to Alzheimer's disease. What are the signs of dementia? Dementia is a slow, progressive condition affecting everyone differently. Early symptoms can be subtle and easy to miss. They may include memory loss, cognitive impairment that causes difficulty solving problems or doing everyday tasks, confusion and lack of awareness about surroundings, time and place, behavioural change as people get frightened because they're not certain what's going on and withdraw from social interactions as people can find it harder to follow conversations or get scared and confused with anything new. This can lead them to avoid new situations and only do what's familiar. We think that loss of sense of smell could also be an early sign of dementia. Over time and without intervention, symptoms can become more severe and can be quite debilitating and challenging for the person affected, as well as for people caring for them. People sometimes worry when they are forgetful that they have dementia, but there's a difference. It's normal to forget some things and remember them later, particularly if you're tired or stressed. But a person with dementia might forget things more often and not remember them at all. A person with dementia might not just forget names, but also relationships. They can also forget how to do everyday tasks like how to cook and look after themselves. When should you see a doctor? If you are concerned, it's a good idea to see a doctor early. People often wait until symptoms are quite progressed before they seek help, but the earlier you seek help, the better. Early diagnosis means interventions can be put in place to slow the progression of the disease and you can get appropriate support. It also means that if the symptoms are caused by something else, this can be identified and treated. What are the risk factors for dementia? There's not a single cause for dementia, but genetics, family history, and your age can influence your risk. While age is considered a risk factor, dementia is not a normal part of aging. 
Genetics is often linked to early onset dementia and Alzheimer's disease in younger people. Lack of physical activity, poor diet, smoking and alcohol can also increase your risk. We're learning more and more about the link between microorganisms such as viruses, bacteria and fungus infections and dementia, particularly when there has been a loss of sense of smell. Viruses and bacteria in the nose and mouth can travel along the nerves of the head and enter the brain where they can trigger an inflammation response. Where these nerves enter the brain are the first regions to show signs of neurodegeneration. And so we think this could be a cause as well as an early sign for dementia. As the sense of smell nerve is one of these nerves, losing the sense of smell may be an early warning sign. Can dementia be treated? We're yet to find out if we can reverse dementia, but there's hope that we can get an effective therapy in the future. At the moment, we rely more on interventions that can minimize the impact of the symptoms. A GP or specialist, like a geriatrician or a neurologist, may be able to recommend these. There are a number of trials and research projects looking into drug treatments for dementia. Some of these include targeting the beta amyloid production to avoid the buildup of plaques in the brain that can lead to Alzheimer's disease. There's also research into improving overall brain health by increasing blood flow. How can dementia be managed? A dementia diagnosis can cause anxiety both for the person affected and their loved ones. But with the right management, people can live well with dementia. If dementia is diagnosed early, people may even be able to slow its progression. It's recommended that people don't stop doing new activities. In fact, it can be beneficial to start doing new things before the symptoms progress, so that you can become familiar and comfortable with them. Exercise is one of the best things you can do, and it is critical in slowing neurodegeneration. Dementia Australia has some helpful resources and advice on how people can modify their homes and make things easier for people with dementia. Can dementia be prevented? We can't say for sure if dementia can be prevented, but we do know that losing your memory shouldn't be a part of getting older. There are a number of things you can do to reduce your risk of dementia which should be incorporated into your life at any age. Regular exercise, eating a balanced diet, limiting alcohol, being socially active, and managing any other conditions like diabetes, hypertension and depression, and not smoking, can all reduce your risk of dementia. Early diagnosis is also key, so being self-aware, noticing any changes, and speaking to a doctor before they progress can improve your outcomes even if you do get dementia. And building new neural connections throughout your life by learning new things and being active can also reduce your risk of dementia. There are new treatments being tested, but the problem at the moment is that they're often given to people who already have mild cognitive impairment. If instead we can diagnose dementia much earlier, we hope such treatments may prevent it progressing into cognitive impairment and memory loss.